I was brought up in a Christian home, um, a place where God was loved and honoured. And I personally decided to follow Jesus when I was very young. So I've always known that God's faithful. But you know, until life throws stuff at you and you have to prove God's promises are real in difficult circumstances, it's pretty much head knowledge up to that point. There inevitably comes a time to take God at his word and put it into practice. Rog and I had found God to be true and faithful in difficult circumstances many times already during our marriage, when almost six years ago I was diagnosed with breast cancer. After the initial shock, I was full of a wonderful peace, certain of God's faithfulness and his plan for my life. Surgery went well, but I needed chemotherapy. So just after Christmas 2011, I had my first treatment. Four days later, I had a rare and catastrophic reaction to the chemo and subsequent medication. I became severely agitated physically and mentally and had acute anxiety. For the next two years, I existed in a type of hell. I had no ability to control my mind or my emotions. I was in a state of continual angri anguish despite good medical treatment. It was a constant battle to stay alive and not give in to the despair. I turned to God, of course, and attempted to put his words and his teaching into practice in this situation like I had in the past. The decision to worship and even thank God through tears had always been open to me, to find comfort and encouragement in the Bible. But this time was different. I felt totally numb, crying constantly and experiencing only anguish, fear and desperation. God seemed to be gone and certainly not in control. However, as I paced the hospital corridors, I realised I could still speak in my God-given heavenly language which I received when I was filled with the Holy Spirit. So I spoke over and over and over again. I felt nothing, but it meant that God had not left. I wasn't alone. Over the next couple of years, I gradually improved, feeling completely well two and a half years later. During this time, God was so faithful. My amazing husband read scriptures to me daily, Psalm 91 seemed to fit my situation exactly and fed my spirit deeply as I wept. But there was never a doubt in my heart that being in God's presence and hearing His word was an absolute necessity in the recovery process. His love was the only place to be safe in a life so completely decimated. Why was this? Because up to this point in my life, I had known and proved God's love his power, his plan, his purpose for my life in everyday life, in the normal. And although I couldn't feel any of that at that time, I knew in my core, my being, my spirit, that God is faithful all of the time. <laughs>